cool. All right, welcome. This is garden story. All right. And the first thing we do in the game is stretch our legs. So we're going to stretch our legs. And we're going to do that by pressing X. So let's do that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just walking around is literally the stretch. Nice. Let's do it. The leaves, ice leaf. This game is practically made for me, so the leaves are a little wilted. They could use some dew. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. All right, let's search the wooden shed, tool shed. <laughs> this game has already got my attention. It's a little cutesy, but it's it works. All right, let's see what's in here. So inside lies Concord's rucksack and empty jar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right. Make your make the jar your active item. Will do, will do. Interact with the well. This game is a lot more different. This version of the game is a lot more different to the demo I played. I like it. It's got more solidness to it. It feels more solid. Does that make sense? Use your dew drop near the vine. Uh, this game is the one that got me hooked to Rose City games. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys how this goes. All right, I'm going to use the dew drop near the vine. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so interact with the vine one more time. All right. Oh, wait, there we go. Enchanted by dew doesn't look nearly as wilted as before. Okay, so it's a, yeah. Okay, CFX, see how you doing? This is amazingly cute. I 100% agree with you. But you know what the funny thing is? You can never judge a book by it. Never judge a book by its cover. And when I played this game, I found a lot to love about it. It's actually quite an interesting game. You totally should get it. I think it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, again, this is the game that got me into the company so, so much. And I, I love it. I just love the art style. The I'll stop talking. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look how fat he is. Hmm. He looks kind of depressed, which is kind of making me sad. I mean, are fruits meant to be sad? <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, so every character in this game is named after a fruit. Granny Smith, classic name. The green apple. Who doesn't like apples? <laughs> All right. Southeast. Like I said, guys, I know it looks cute and it sounds cute, but don't let the game fool you. It is a highly complex game. Not really, no. <laughs> but it is it is a, a little bit more than what it seems to appear. So don't judge, don't judge. Um, okay, so I think we're going to be doing a lot of exploring this session, which is cool. I love exploring, love going on adventures. Map get. <laughs> Do we have the map? Yes, we have the map. Get, get the map. And using the map, I'm going to press M. And this is my beautiful map. Uh, of course, this is an 8-bit game, so you're going to have some sort of simplified version of a real map. Um, this definitely reminds me of Zelda. Oh, 
Oh, is he? Oh, I didn't know you have a timer too, guys. Check it out. Look at the top. We have like this kind of time-based thing, which I didn't think was in the, in the demo. Well, maybe it was. I just wasn't paying attention to it. All right. Our goal is to head to the wood forge in the hamlet. This game is very relaxing. I kind of feel like this would be a game you'd watch on ASM ASMR. Uh, sort of, um, you know. And the music, the, I mean, the fact that the music is so calming just makes this game even more attractive to me. It's, it's, it's something that you would play after a hard day's work. Oh, that's so cool. You look at him when he runs. <laughs> He's like an angry dude. He looks determined. No, I wouldn't say angry. He looks determined. All right, so we're going to go to the wood forge. And honestly, I just, I'm going to just wing it and just see what we get up. Rana. So I guess my job in this game is to water stuff. Spring Hamlet. This must, must be it. Let's see what the sign says. Spring Hamlet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. The Wood Forge. Okay. Oh, my name's Concord. <laughs> okay. I just, I, I was trying to figure out what my, my name was. All right. Is this, oh, this is my, this is my gift. Guys. It's a Bunnings shovel. Wait, no, he's, is he giving it to me? I want the shovel. Go on. No, no, it's, no, it's in the shed. Okay. <laughs> Granny Smith, hey, hey, Granny, what's up? <laughs> Next thing you know, Concord is a is a grown man, moving out, ready to take on life's challenges. All right. Anyways, I'm going to go back. Uh, let's just... Oh, we have a bit of a battle. Cool. Awesome. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, did you see that, guys? The enemies just fanned out. I mean, I know it's not a big deal for... Uh, for now, I'm pretty used to that, but I have a feeling that could be a bit harder later on. Oh, so that that dew that I was using for the vine, besides growing plants, is is a healing tool. That's cool. <laughs> well, a fruit is giving out weapons. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Let's check in with Plum. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for the support, Plum. With what you know, how do you feel? I have no idea, to be honest. But I might... I might just assume that they're uh, really cool super beings, so I'm going to be... Yeah, I'd like to be one for sure. Hmm, <laughs> so this is a sort of a game about progression, about mature maturity and about growing up. No, what are you talking about, I sleep? It's just a game about a fruit. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna return to the shed, go to bed. And Hopefully, wake up with... Okay. Alright. This is it. This is our bed. Oh, it's a... <laughs> it's a leaf bed. Ah, oh, say goodbye. Okay. 
Let's talk to it. Let's talk to the vine. Okay. So I wonder, like, we're saying goodbye to this place. I'm wondering if we ever return to it at a later stage, you know, just to see how things are. Okay. Looks like we're good to go. So let's... Get out of here. Southwest. We're gonna head southwest, guys. Uh southwest would be Yeah, I know I never was good at geography, so. Uh, let's look at the map and see. Yeah, I figured as much, so south down and then west. Alright. New home. Oh, that looks quick. Hey, Plummy, an elderberry. <laughs> huh, that is so cool. So you see the frog. I, I know I'm being very picky on these details, but you see the frog and how he's got like this kind of gleam into his eyes. He's winking at me going, you know, hey, what's up? You know, he's trying to, I don't know what he's, why he's winking at me. But anyway, meet you inside, eh? <laughs> um, and then you've got like this kind of glowing light thingy, which I'm assuming is like a super interested look thing. I, I like those little details. So far I'm impressed. I mean, the detail in this game is... Oh, a pillow leaf. This game is basically made for me, guys. Seriously. Like, this is like the perfect game for my, my Twitch Brand, name, whatever. Imagine that, a pillow leaf, huh? I mean, I'm not going to say anything. You never know, in the future we could be selling pillow leaves. But having a pillow as a leaf? Or the, the, having a pillow in the shape of a leaf would be kind of ergonomically weird. So we're going to stock up on the dew, because apparently that's important. Uh, let's... Ah, I see. I see a little leaf coming out of my head. Alright. Nothing cool? What's in this? Oh, can I break this thing? Boom! Maybe not. One more time. Ah! Coinage. Democracy lives in this game. <laughs> so I'm really liking this this vibe. It's, it's very relaxing. I don't know about you guys, but what do you think? This game is called Garden Story CFX, see? It's a uh, it's a game that was released a couple of years ago, and I've always had my eye on it. Um, essentially, if you like Zelda, the original Zelda, this is the game for you. It's just extra cute. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, and I know, again, don't judge a book by its cover. This game has a lot to it. Um, if you look hard enough. On the surface, it's very easy to, to dismiss as a kid game. But it's 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 good. So, the rod are kind of like troublemakers. And I'm just a poor old grape. Alright, we're going to go sleep. Uh... Yeah, we'll just... We'll just rest up. All right. Requests? For what? <laughs> what kind of requests? I just got here. I just got here, man. <laughs> just moved into the neighborhood. What am I doing? Why do I even have jobs? 
You know what? I blame it on Rana. <laughs> he, Rana probably was like, hey, you know, we got this, this new grape moving into the neighborhood. Let's just give him, let's just stack him up with work. Hey, just moved in for goodness sake, Rana. <laughs> Why? Why are you giving me work for? Oh, I gotta make a living somehow as a grape. Oh, by the way, I just, I don't know if it's actually, if I'm, if I'm actually a grape or not. So, what do you guys think? Am I a berry of some sort or? Vegetable? What am I? What do you guys think? Either way. Super cute. All right. Ryan says I should prepare for the first work day by exploring the hamlet. So I can do these things. There's, you know, and also the jobs are really well laid out. Like it's not too, I like it. You've got the right guy. I'm an expert whacker. All right. So we're gonna whack some lights guys. Okay. Looks like we have whacked everything. You guys sort of see what the solution is? Because I sure hell is not. Ah! No! Ah. The expert whacker. That's how you do it, bro. Nothing like the smell of the rivers in the morning. Expert whacker. Expert forager. Come on. Also, if you've played Stardew Valley, yeah, connections. All right. This is a massive jar. Am I supposed to get this one? <laughs> All right, so I got a couple of stuff. Oh, D? D's to pick up stuff? All right. Cool. What is this? Okay, so it's just some hats you can buy. Alright. Yeah, we we just want to get this stuff. Why walk when you can run? Okay, the rock might eat you whole. <laughs> he was being sarcastic, actually. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what? Where did he go? That is such a delayed attack. He has so much time to get out of his way. Look. Three, two, one, five, four, three. There's so much time to go away from him. Oh, what? What? You hurt me. Oh, that little guy. All right. I'm gonna be really careful of this dude. Yeah, sneaky bugger. Sure, sure, leave it to me. Oh, nice! Alright, we got a cool shield, a hazel shield! Get! <laughs> I love it. Alright, so C, by the way, guys. Oh, it's directional? That's sick. So, oh, damn. What the heck? When do these rods get like projectiles and stuff? Good thing my, my, my hazel shield is blocking them. 
You know, for someone who just got a shield, I'm pretty damn good at it, right? Alright, come at me. Come at me. Come at me. That's right, that's right. Cool. Alright, next one. The stamina is a bit of an issue. Um, I'm so used to like having heaps of stamina. So only managing two hits is a pain. Story-wise, not too bad. Um, I mean, sorry, the dialogue. Sorry, the dialogue is not too bad. Yeah. And, and I like how it's written in short sort of bursts. I, I like, I don't like reading too much. But a story is brewing for sure. And I think in my next session, I'm going to continue this and find out exactly what's happening because things are a little bit vague at the moment. We'll see. We'll see. This game could be just a whole bunch of political stuff underneath the facade of a cute game. Oh, what the? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Guardian Plum's presence. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This, guy, this guy's gonna explode. Oh. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Let's just use the shield for a moment. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's gonna explode. Alright, so it takes about a second or two. <laughs> he just slammed himself into the stone. I can deflect him. Did you guys see that? I can deflect him. Watch. There you go. Oh, God, dude. There we go. Oh, I got to do something. Hold on. The rain. So relaxing, so relaxing. <laughs> this does, this game does give me like a very relaxed vibe. Like it's just, it's uh, different. Let's put it that way. Um, heading in the right direction. That is creepy. What the heck? Did you see that? The tree? It's got freaking eyes. What kind of game is this? Oh, I'd be so sick if this game all of a sudden just became super like... Like horror. Horror based. It'd be kind of surreal actually. I mean, it's already surreal. I mean, you have like... You know, bloody fruits like... Chucking swords and stuff. Well, I, ju I was just making that up before when I was talking to Rana. I was like, hey... Guardian, Mr. Guardian here, but never thought I would actually be one. Oh man, this is actually really getting to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's the music and just... Just the story. Yes, it's kind of revealing itself now, which is cool. So it's it's... Sort of like, you have to understand that people move on. And I think it's, um, it's more well, a part of life, really. Um, you know, where you, where you, ha where you meet someone, it's sort of like, they have their own interests and you, their own desires and their own things to do. But the fact that your paths crossed in such a uncanny fashion... Let's put it that way. So if you think about all the people you've met in your life, it's kind of like, was that by chance or was that by design? Uh, actually, I just want to try something before I go. Is 
Can I interact with this dude a little bit? Oh, he's gone. He just left. I want to say goodbye. No. Oh. <laughs> oh well. All right. So let's uh, hit the hit the snooze. And so, a new one joins us on the greater plane of events. Welcome, young Sprout. Within you, I sense many things. Juvenile doubt, longing, dreams of a future fraught with possibility and danger. <laughs> this, game. <laughs> this game is really getting to me. All right, guys.